Not far above Trinidad's capital, Port of Spain, in a corner of the St. Anne's Valley in the Northern Range, is the community of Fonzamans, where residents have come together since 1982 to respond to a climate change issue. For several years, bushfires would reduce more and more of their forested surroundings to burned grass and charred tree stumps. Residents have also witnessed increased rainfall in the area in which the rainy season has encroached on the dry. Akila Jaromogi, who started the Fonzaman's Community Restoration Project 32 years ago with her now deceased husband, told IPS they have managed to reclaim and revive the forest and the river. Coming to Fonzaman in the early 80s, I was really happy to be part of this watershed. But that was only in the rainy season. Why? Because in the rainy season, the place would be really green and nice. But come dry season, it was a different story. The place would turn brown, then from brown it would turn gray, and then bright fires in the night, the hillside burned off, and that was the whole issue. The trend that forms on here, forest fires during the dry season, and floods around the watershed during the rainy season. So for me, coming from a rural community in South Trinidad, it was something strange to me. It was heartbreaking. The project has transformed the area from a denuded, dusty hillside to one where tall trees flourish, fruit trees and flowering plants grow, and more wildlife returns each year. And not since 1997 has a bushfire broached the system of fire traces and quick community action developed by the community over the years to protect the watershed. Jaromogi said climate change is a reality and the change has affected the quality and yield of fruit trees, noting that citrus, mangoes and avocados have all been affected. She said it makes sense for individuals and communities to be prepared and ready as far as possible. We no longer have a dry season or a rainy season. So for the past years, you would find we have extremely dry weather condition. This year we had a really long dry season that resulted to tremendous forest fires around Trinidad and Tobago. She said one of the reasons for the longevity and success of the project is the involvement of the community. Akila's daughter, Kimba Jaromogi, is also with the Fonzaman's Community Restoration Project. She is a trained firefighter and a dedicated protector of the forests. She explained that although fires sometimes burn outside of the reforestation project area, this does not deter its volunteers from fighting them, even if it means trekking two hours to the site of the fire. She outlined some of the challenges facing the project and mentioned a few simple things that could help contain fires before they get out of hand. She said there needs to be better coordination between the firefighting units of the forestry division, national reforestation groups, and forestry NGOs, and these groups need access to better equipment. In Trinidad and Tobago, it's illegal to light fires outdoors during the dry season. The FACRP is currently funded by the Trinidad and Tobago government through its Green Fund. Other partners include several state agencies, the Water and Sewage Authority, the Forestry Division of the Ministry of Housing and the Environment, and the Office of Disaster Preparedness and Management. Support also comes from the Caribbean Natural Resources Institute and the Global Water Partnership Caribbean. So since our partnership with them, not only have they been active, but we have been able to collaborate with them in different ways and doing water harvesting um, system that's actually on the compound here and support the project when they have very limited water. It's something that we take pride in and we will continue to support funds in terms of their activities. The project has won many awards, including the Hummingbird Medal National Award in 2007, recognizing its national service in the sphere of environmental conservation. It has also won the Green Leaf Award, Trinidad and Tobago's highest environmental honor, and was named as a model for community reforestation throughout the Caribbean. Desmond Brown, IPS News, Trinidad.